Greetings, beloveds. And beloveds, as you continue upon your journeys of self-love, of self-remembrance, and of self-guidance, you will come to understand that the journey within is the most sacred that any of you can undertake. For the healing, the rectification, and the balancing that is to be done is done within. There is guidance that is available to you. You have been given many tools. You have many vivid memories of how to bring yourselves back to the truth. But understand you are being compelled. You are being drawn and almost magnetized by a remembrance of the soul that lives within the heart. It is linked to the mind and it is accessed through the breath. All of you have this yearning, all of you have this desire within you <laughs> to awaken from this dream, which you have chosen to dream. And yet, every once in a while, you'll say, but today I wish to indulge in the drifting, I wish to indulge in the drama. Whether it is through conversations, whether it is through actions that you take or inactions, Beloveds, these are the moments that are meant to be forgiven. These are the moments in which you are able to say to yourself, ah, yes, here I am indulging. Here I am taking time to distract myself. Here I am allowing myself to be whomever I wish to be. Beloveds, what you must understand is that this is the perfect, perfect moment in time for you. For if you did not have that moment, you could then not appreciate the moments when you say, ah, yes, let me step back onto the path. Or if you were merrily trotting along the way on the path, like Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz as she follows the yellow brick road, and you did not meet the characters along the way, and you did not have the dramas to overcome, there would not be an appreciation at the end of the journey. At the end of the journey, you look back upon all of your <laughs> adventures, so to speak. You look upon the relationships that you've had, the ones that you've treasured, the ones that have terrified you, the ones that you have resisted and the ones that you have embraced. And you will indeed come to a moment of absolute surrender when you will say, this is the moment that I choose to remember myself as a Christ being. The Christ of being within you lives, loves, lives in joy, loves with a heart, reckless abandon. And this is existent within each and every aspect of creation. Allow yourselves to say, I love who I am in every moment of your existence. And when you allow one another, to push your buttons and to trigger each other, resound with joy and say, ah, yes, I will celebrate how this person is scaring me, pissing me off. Lana Grace loves this phrase. That person really pissed me off. Man. In her New York ease. Beloveds, it is some aspect of you where you are just deeply in denial with yourself. And if you can embrace it, if you can kiss the boo-boo of the moment in which you have tried to deny yourself, you will find that the pain and the affliction disappears instantaneously. What it is that angers you in another is indeed a mirrored aspect of self. This has been said time immemorial. But the, the fact remains that you become quicker and quicker in the recovery. You see that this happens and now you say, ah, yes, I do not wish to indulge in that. And the quicker that this happens, beloved, you come to a point where it no longer happens. You make a choice and you say, this instant in time, I choose to remember that only love is real. And I choose to remember what that feels like within my heart. 
And that love feels like the tenderness that I feel when I am engaged in a conversation with my beloveds. When I see the smile upon a child's face, when I see a bird float across the sky, when I see the buds as they start to move from winter into spring, allow yourself to languish in the joy and the presence of love, beloveds. There is no rush. Everyone will get there. And we are here to escort you to the very pleasure of life. Allow your breath to guide you, beloveds. Allow your breath to take you deeply within and route out the places where you have held on to energy that is not meant to be captured. It is meant to be experienced and then it is meant to be released. So allow yourself the ground release, beloveds. And as you sit in your moments of silence, listen for the voices that speak to you of love, that speak to you of pleasure and of peace and happiness and joy, that speak to you of your holiness and of your divinity. For they are indeed the accurate and true voices of love. We thank you for your presence, beloveds. And we will continue to speak with you. Blessings to you always. <laughs>